So basically what I do is use creativity to solve the white space, whether it be script writing, whether it be um, photography, whether it be uh, poetry, just anything to engage my community using my creativity and also finding ways of making money using these creative ideas. 1426 comes from the creative community at large and various people's ideas and various people's complaints. People are complaining about we don't have a space where to uh, a space where we can execute our creativity, we don't have a space to showcase our talent, we don't have a space for that. The reason I'm joining 1426 would be for space, man. That's the only thing that I did, man. Like a place where I can work and just feel free. I'm joining 1426 to have space. Because in Toroza, like if we don't have that space for us to meet and just chat, drink coffee and just talk creativity. So 1426 will create that platform for me and also for others. So I'm hoping to get more experience and um, the exposure of my work, like we see like Mele Ibonagale to the world outside. I make a living by designing and also altering the clothes. Because sometimes people, they just come to, they want me to do the alteration to their clothes. And also, I sometimes work in the movies. And movies like Ayanda and Chepi, they recently released one. My involvement in 1426 is to help the youth with workshop, through fashions. My idea around that and, and the purpose is that if they would learn more about this creativity and what it entails, what is the creative industry, what's the creative market, and how does the creative market impact our, our local economy, you know? So I think the, the most important for me and uh, the community is that we need to grasp this creativity thing and exploit it and unlock the currency in the creative market, you know? That's the importance. That's another way that it can actually fight against uh, unemployment, you know. In terms of workshops, we had a 48-hour uh, music challenge. Uh, it was called Digital Hustle, which was a pure workshop, and it was just driving people into their own extremes and getting a, and getting them out of their own comfort zone, which was amazing. I sell my stuff on the organization that we started last year, which is Hustlers Reunion. Our first um, workshop was Digital Hustle, which was doing major things <laughs> to people so yeah and also i'm working on creating my own uh, creative production company which is called sia sola so it's under construction the aim of the project at this certain moment um, uh, um, is to initiate your pop-up galleries pop-up markets um, uh, um, uh, looking looking at events uh, looking at uh, uh, selling products, various products, opening shops within that one space. But on the biggest idea, we're looking at having bigger festivals, like four festivals a year. We're also looking at using upcycling materials and using pallets to create this for the school kids. So we're just looking at various ways on how we can help our community out. We're also looking at somewhat living uh, a legacy for our township, somewhat of an annuity, you know, something that our community is going to come back to and know that this is space where most of us go and make money, you know, that's, this is a space when they have a festival. Because when, when, when you have a festival, you're looking at almost the entire community making money from a person who's selling a cigarette, from a person who's washing cars, from that old woman who's selling um, chicken feet there, and from that other guy who's selling uh, and Klaw. So it's it's different people in one festival. So many people can make money out of that 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 festival, not only ourselves, you know.